Welcome to our Laravel Troubleshooting Guide. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter. Our viewer is running Laravel version 5.4.22 and has run into a problem while trying to roll back a migration. The error message states that there's a duplicate column name, specifically is admin. Let's break down the situation and find out how to resolve this. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to say you're just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. The error message indicates that you're trying to add a column that already exists in your database table. Specifically, the column is admin is causing a conflict. To resolve this issue, first, check your database to confirm if the isAdmin column is already present in the posts table. If the column exists, you can modify your migration file. In the down method, instead of adding the column again, you should drop it. After making these changes, run the migration rollback command again. This should successfully drop the column without any errors. And Finally, if you need to add the column again, you can run the migration command to apply the changes. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This user encountered a column already exists error in Laravel due to a duplicate column name, specifically created at. The issue arose from using the wrong method for timestamps in the migration code. To fix the error, they changed timestamps to timestamp for the DOB column. After making this change, the migration worked correctly without any errors. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the duplicate column name error in Laravel, one user found a solution by using Composer. They recommended requiring the Doctrine Debal package. For more detailed information on modifying columns in Laravel, you can check the official documentation. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until your next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.